Hey guys, so I'm Kara from Never Skip Brunch, and today we're gonna build a little entryway bench that's super simple. I'm so excited. Home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go. Home, home, back home, I've been going for way too long. Home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go. Home, home, I'm on my way back home. So today I'm going to make a little entryway bench um, for my entryway. If you saw my fall revamp post, you would have seen it kind of all done up for fall. And I had a writing desk there that fit perfectly, but really for functionality I need kind of a bench so we can sit there to put our shoes down and have some storage under it and maybe some hooks above it um, and some other decor elements. The desk was just kind of too big in the sense that it wasn't really functional for the space. It was gorgeous, but it is being moved upstairs um, to live in the guest bedroom. So I'm gonna build a little bench for this space and it's a super, super simple project. It's really, really cheap because I'm just using framing lumber, um, which is also great if you're just starting out um, doing woodworking or doing wood projects. Um, you're not gonna waste a lot of money on nice wood if you mess it up. So this is a really, really good intro project because everything is very square, very easy to do. You don't really need any special tools besides a drill and some screws. Um, if you wanna cut your own wood, you totally can. You can also have the people at Home Depot or your hardware store cut it for you. Um, although Home Depot doesn't cut anything under eight inches, so Either you have to find someone willing to break the rules and cut it for you, or um, I have like an alternate cut list that you can use. Um, and the dimensions of the bench are going to be a little bit different if you use that, but that way um, Home Depot will be able to cut the wood for you if you don't have a saw. And so anyway, it's super simple. Let's get started. I'll show you the pieces you need, and then we'll go through step by step how to build it. I'm on my way back home Okay, so here is the cut list. I have two pieces that are two by eights cut into three foot long pieces. Um, I want my bench to be three feet long because my entryway is about 42 inches, so four feet's a little too big. Um, if you want a larger bench, you can just get a two by eight that's eight foot long, cut it in half so you'll have two um, four foot long pieces. I have an extra little two feet piece over there. Um, that I'm not going to be using. So this length right here is the as long as you want your bench to be so you can customize that to fit your space. Then you're going to need um, four pieces that are 15 and a half inches. This is just a regular 2 by 4 um, of framing lumber. Um, it was actually a 2 by 4 that was 8 foot long and I got these four pieces that were 15 and a half and then these four pieces that were eight inches. So these um, Home Depot cannot cut for you because it's under a foot. So unless there's a really helpful person there that will break the rules for you, you'll have to cut them yourself. Or you could also use a foot long as long as all four of these are the same um, width. So this is gonna be the top of the bench. So these are each eight inches wide. So it's gonna be a 16 foot um, deep bench, three feet long, and then um, these are eight inches, so it's going to come up 
to about halfway in between, like right here. But if you use 12 inches, you're gonna just bump that out a little bit. You'll see what I mean later on in terms of that. So, so just quick checklist, two two by eights that are three feet long or four feet, depending on how long you want your bench to be, four two by fours that are 15 and a half inches long, and then two, um, four two by fours that are eight inches long. Welcome to my garage. That is the least beautiful space in my house. Um, step number one is to sand all of these down kind of roughly before we attach them into uh, basically a box that's gonna act as the legs. So there's gonna be a, like a box on each side. So I just kind of roughly sand them to get kind of like any ink off that's on the wood, any kind of like rough areas. Um, and then once I attach them all together into the box, I'm going to more finely sand them. So this is just like a pretty rough sanding. for the legs, how we're gonna build the box. Um, this is gonna be like the bottom and up here we're gonna attach it to the top two planks for the seat. So the screws are gonna go in this way. Um, if you have like a Craig jig, you can also do the diagonal attachment right here. Um, I'm just gonna screw them in with lumber screws because this wood is thick enough um, to probably screw into the end but for smaller wood, maybe like a one inch piece, you're probably gonna to wanna to do that diagonal attachment um, because screwing into the end is not the strongest bond. Um, I'm gonna pre-drill the holes, so two on this board going this way, two up here, two down here, and then two over here. Um, so I'm gonna go pre-drill those and then this will be ready to attach. Okay, so the two boxes that are going to be the legs are all attached and I sanded them again to kind of smooth them out. And now the next step is going to be to attach them to the top. Um, I'm going to sand those two boards and then we'll get to attaching them. So I sanded down my two 2x8 um, boards that are 3 feet long and laid them right next to each other so that they're flush. Then I'm just gonna place a leg on each end here and here, and then screw them in. So here it's about, it's a little over two inches, this overhang, so I want this to be the same here as it is right there. So I'm measuring to make sure that it's even all the way around. And then I'm going to pre-drill four holes, right here, one, two, three, four in the corners and then screw it on. So here is what the bench looks like with the legs on. It's kind of like a modern vibe, super simple. Um, I'm gonna sand the top a little bit more to get it a little bit more even now that the two boards are right next to each other and then it will be time for some stain. But you can kind of see how um, the height, the 15 and a half inch legs 
is what gives it this height. Um, the eight inch cut um, gives it depth here. So if you were to make this eight inch board 12 inches, you would pop these out um, on either side and it would be a little bit bigger. And then the top, the two eight by eights, means that it's 16 inches deep. So that's kind of the, um, by the way, my garage is ridiculous. Um, it's freezing outside, so I have not been out here to work in it, and that's why it's gross. Um, but yeah, so you can see that the dimensions, um, if you were to alter any of these, like make the 15 inch leg shorter, your bunch would be shorter. Um, a longer, longer boards on the top, you could just move the legs out a little bit and it would be um, longer. So that's kind of what it looks like once it's all put together. I'm gonna get to work sanding and then we can stain. So all this sanding is totally optional. Um, if you want your bench to have like a really rustic look, you don't have to sand at all. Um, I just wanted to remove some of the, like the stamped ink and then my boards are in pretty rough shape. The other thing about this um, framing lumber is it's a pretty soft wood, so it's gonna get dented pretty easily and kind of show some wear and tear a lot easier than some harder woods. So, um, if you don't want to sand at all, that's fine. It's going to get beat up anyway. And if you are sanding, don't like worry about making it perfect. I stained it. The last thing I did was to attach these little felt feet. Um, they stick on, but they don't stay really well, so I just put a nail in the middle. 
Um, it kind of pinches it down and it's low enough where the nail's not gonna scratch the floor, but it's gonna help that felt pad stay in place so it doesn't um, slide around. Home, home, just wanna go. Just wanna go. Home, home, back home. I've been going for way too long. Home, home, just wanna go. Just wanna go. So this is what the bench looks like finished in the space. It fits perfectly. I have a little room for a lantern and then a little basket, some pillows, 